We are legends. Hey guys, let's take a look at the top five most controversial characters of all time. These are characters that have caused lots of discussion, frustration, and annoyances within the community of DC Legends. And our number five on the list was, we had a couple different ones. I had originally Reverse Flash, which he was a little bit controversial, but I don't think he caused that much of a firestorm. But we decided to change it to Gorilla Grodd. Because he was a character that came out and actually was one of the only characters, I'd say, that got a buff shortly after his release due to community outcry. And not only did he get a buff, but he also got a size change. Yeah, which was definitely needed because he was, <laughs> was a oh, yeah, tiny gorilla garage. <laughs> and for those of you that but came... Like, that's the only character that ever has had like a distinguishing change like that. Yeah, and I think like, that... No one's even ever even considered altering a character like that until him. And there, there was, if you, those of you that are either newer to the game or just don't, you know, follow the community, Grodd got, he had so much backlash when he first released that Winter Brothers actually decided they should give him a slight buff, which he still didn't get quite to the buff point that I had hoped. Cause he's All they did was change his gear set. Yeah, I mean, it, it was an improvement, but I wish they would have done more because I still feel like he's under par for a character that was really cool. Um, He's not bad. He's not a terrible character, but he's just he's a little little underwhelming, I would say, overall. And I think part of that's just due to his damage because his kit on paper is really cool. Well, and that right now too, Wonder Girl just Well, that's the other problem. He does those kind of buffs and he's energy, so that's dangerous right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, he, here's the thing on Grodd and in stun general stun characters in general is I feel like WB is very hesitant on making a stun character either fast or hits hard, uh, barring Killer Frost. Um, but yet they're willing to release a tune who can self-cleanse a stun, self-cleanse the team, turn meter up, free AoE attacks, and a Can't basic miss. that doesn't miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you or a character who can overheal from like red, uh, crit immunity, ten ag- agility up, true sight. True damage, double swipe. It does I mean, seem what? like with Donna Troy, they're starting to loosen up a little bit on the stuns. Um, but still, Grodd didn't get... I think he came out too soon to receive that benefit. Him and Superboy, yeah. you know, could use a little little love with... Well, to be fair, Superboy is still the only character that has a two-turn stun. Yeah, but he's still... No, I know. I, I get it. But we're not talking about Superboy, so... <laughs> <laughs> but he, he, he was one of the ones that we floated for the uh, number five controversial. Number four, we yeah. talked about her already. Wonder Girl, she's very controversial, still is. There's screams for nerf. There's screams for people that don't believe in nerfs ever. Screams for um, <clears throat> that she's fine the way she is because they want to use her as a crutch character. Um, she is definitely, without question, whether you're on the pro nerf or not pro nerf, she's one of the, well, probably the strongest character in the game at the moment. So, obviously, she's been very controversial. We won't go into her much, because we've talked her to death through many episodes and this one already. I scream, you scream, we all scream for nerfs. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, next month, we see some kind of answer, like a la Red Hood, and she slows down a little bit. That would be fantastic. Number what th- are you going to do? What are they going to do, like release a red with True Sight and just kill her in turn one? Or what? Yeah, I don't think they could do that because <laughs> that would... <laughs> they're, they're, I'm sure they'll come up with a, a solution that we hadn't thought of. Oh, okay. Number three on the list, and this is for the people that have played for a long time, but he Number two was... on the list. Number three. Number three? Yeah, we're on number three. Oh, three. <laughs> number Sorry. three on the list is a character that was very controversial for a good six months. He, he, There was a good argument to be made that he could be number one. And I think me and Slow Beast talked about that a little bit. Uh, but number three would be Castaway Green Arrow. The controversial character was Castaway Green Arrow. He dominated the meta for, what, almost six months to a year? Like EAGA, the problem was that the math was off and uh, he would just fire every time, right? CAGA, yeah. CAGA. That was the problem with CAGA. So that that wasn't that was a direct problem with the character. You You had to... 
to compete, you had to have him on your team. Deathstroke, the problem was the math was off, and they gave him, made him too powerful, and you had to, you couldn't kill him without killing his teammates, so you couldn't use any uh, AoEs. It was a long time. It was a long time. And it was mainly because his passive attack that could attack twice and also remove buffs when it attacked twice procced two times every turn. I mean, just in between every single turn. So basically you had two attacks from a basic, from a character, in between every turn of a character. Yeah, it was gross. And a lot of times your matches were entirely dependent on if you win or lose is if his 50% turn meter procced or not. This was before we had taunters and that were effective. So everybody got attacked. You couldn't even, Mystic characters didn't exist at this time. I mean, nobody used Mystic characters. because they Well, would, you couldn't. They would instantly <laughs> die to him. Um, yeah. I never... His brother. <laughs> I think that character made me more angry than any other character in the game. And honestly... I was really tempted to put him as number one just because of that, because I would scream at my just I would scream at him to stop shooting all the time. Yeah, Castaway was the original controversial character. Everyone and wanted him nerfed, right? We just wanted him fixed. Yeah, because he was procking more. There than was a lot did. of problems. <laughs> yeah, and once he was fixed to where his proc rate was what it said it was on paper, then now he's still a strong character. He's just not ungodly OP. Not broken. Yeah. Which he, now, he was bonkers. <laughs> now you kind of almost want his thing to proc a little more just to deal with the mystics, but <laughs> and get rid of the buffs. Right. And the number two most controversial character, and we went through a good six months of this one as well, it was Deathstroke. Which, by himself, he probably wasn't too insane, but he still was a character that caused so much division, caused a lot of people to quit the game, and just was a character that you were either on the pro or con Deathstroke needed to be nerfed. And then even after his nerf, there was so much more controversy because they nerfed him so much. It was, you didn't most agree it was too much. And I'm even in the camp that they nerfed him a little too much. He's still an okay character. He's not bad, but he, they, they just went a little I, far. Man, I remember when he first got nerfed and you're like, nah, nah, he's fine, dog. He, uh, he's still viable. And, he and is like, viable. What are you talking about? <laughs> He totally is viable. He is viable. He just his turn. I think I think his buff should last one more turn, three turns, and he I think it'd be perfect. Well, the problem is his base damage is just so low. Yeah. If his base damage was a little bit higher, two turns would be fine. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, because it's one or the other. Give us one Jess, of those two things, and he'd be fine. Yeah, Jess and uh, Constantine do just fine with that uh, death stroke. He's just kind of underwhelming right now. Well, the difference is they're they're both strikers, so and he's a tanker. The, he's a tank, so yeah, his damage is a little bit lower base. I get that. It's just that Jessica has her starting shields, and Constantine just is a jerk and hides behind invisibility or awareness all the time. So you're, you right. don't, you so never get to kill him anyway. The whole point. Yeah, and, and that's they all thing. do it in different ways, but they're all doing the same thing. And I would say the number one most controversial character, probably of them all, was Lobo, a, a la Baby Lobo, and other well, characters. Well, once that... again, a, a character that receives buffs from uh, death. Yeah, same with Jessica Cruz. More characters came out later that would have created that. That's that what I mean. Like, like I, I, I look at Lobo the same way I look at uh, Harley Quinn. I, by themselves, without the other characters on the team, they weren't really controversial characters, and their abilities weren't really controversial. It was the fact that you specifically had characters that got bonuses from the death, so you didn't ramp up your Lobo all the way, left him baby so that he would get killed real easy and just keep respawning and just keep stacking those buffs on Deathstroke, Constantine, you know, Jessica Cruz. Actually, I think you sold me. I'm going to make... So, so yeah, that, that to me, you know, I, I don't think Lobo and Harley Quinn are controversial characters. It's the meta that made them controversial. Yeah, but they I, I still agree with you. They are yeah. problem characters, but it's only because of the meta. Had there been no characters that got any buffs from uh, teammates reviving, well, but the, Lobo would have never been a thing. Who's the biggest problem? Who's This is the most top five most controversial characters. All right, well, then you sold me, because from that aspect, yeah. they are definitely controversial. We're literally having controversy over whether or not they're controversial. <laughs> exactly. So. He caused so much outrage for so many people. People that 
uh, any of the whales or the the spenders and then or even the long time free to play despise lobo because he was a character that if you made the mistake before you caught on like myself and geared him out day one you realize he was so much better not geared than he was being geared the only character that ever was that fell in those lines because of his infinite revives before he was fixed and the argument for deathstroke could be made that if lobo had just been fixed deathstroke would have been fine without being nerfed and they could have tested the waters by just making lobo only be able to revive three times but him being yeah. ungeared, he uh, there's still an argument to be made that he's still better under, better not being geared than geared in some cases, just for Constantine teams or Jessica Cruz led teams today. And, I still like him when he's geared up. He's such a super tank. I, I do think he's a good character geared out, and that was his his problem. He was a good character geared out, and he was even better not geared. Yeah, because he just died constantly, and this is before the star system existed. That was actually the reason that the star system got implemented. Yeah, a lot of things in this game was added and changed because of Deathstroke Lobo, and specifically Baby Lobo. And yeah, but heal immunity, making revives not count, are because of Baby Lobo. I mean, they they went through thing after thing after thing before they did the nerfs, and it just never slowed down. And that was because you could take all you had to do is have one character geared, and that was Deathstroke, and then you have Baby Lobo on the team. You just need him unlocked, gear one, and then few, a couple rings thrown into his, I think it was his fifth ability, so he could revive every turn infinitely, and then you could win pretty much any match. No, I think uh, the now that no one's abusing revivers anymore, well, okay, maybe like 2% of people. Anymore. Yeah, I just, I wish they could just change it, change it back. Lobo? <laughs> change back. No, the, the star system. No one abuses oh, it yeah, anymore. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Because especially... Fine. Well, especially with, like, this goes on a side tangent, but especially for guys like you who get three to six matches and you only get five points per match versus the other guy who gets, like, 13 points per match if he loses, like, all his teams, but he still wins the match. I mean, that's a side tangent, but it just, you can't play with the Revivers, and it just, it hurts you more to lose a character now. Um, I, I think they should just go do it with the star system. All right, and that is our top five most controversial characters. Did you like the show? Consider becoming a patron. Go to patreon.com slash legends for more information. Thanks for listening. <laughs> You're not going to say anything? We are legends.